and welcome back to another week with me. I put my extensions back in, yes, if you're wondering. I was feeling old and chubby this morning and those two things do not go well together when you're having a low day. I'm not, here's the thing, I'm not really having a low day. I just feel like my mind's racing, my hormone levels feel like they're going like this. Welcome to the land of perimenopausal symptoms. You never know what you're gonna get when you wake up each day and how you're going to feel. You can think you're gonna have this amazing day and be like, oh, I'm so excited. And then your hormones can have a completely different plan for you. And I, I woke up cranky. <laughs> I was not in a good mood. And then I looked in the mirror and I was like, you know, do you ever look in the mirror and you look at yourself and you just, you give yourself the most disgusting pose, like you stick your stomach out and you do this and you look like a flat frog and you're just like, meh. <laughs> do you ever do that? <laughs> and I usually, honestly, I don't like to do stuff like that because I think obviously it's very unhealthy and I don't like to hyper focus on like my weight and how I'm looking and you know age and all of that. I really try to just um, love everything about myself at all times no matter what. But you can't help it if you look in the mirror and you just have a day. I don't do that often. And so when I have days like that, I'm like, okay, what can we do to change it? <laughs> and for me, it's like do some glam makeup that makes you happy, which I'm really digging this. It's really fun and I put my extensions back in and that makes me feel better. Okay. Honestly too, it's I said this before, but extensions 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 are so much easier to take care of and to like get up in the morning and be done and look cute and just throw on a hat. I have been pulling my hair back and out of my way and out of my face and I feel like a potato. <laughs> So I'm gonna do what makes me feel good um, and if that means extensions it means extensions and I also put on a cute outfit and I have deflated the pool and taken all of the water out. I know it's freaking prime deal days and the stupid pool that I bought was like $40 cheaper and it was smaller than I thought it was gonna be and yesterday I was in it and I was on my floaty and my husband came out in his swim trunks and I was like, you want to get in? And he was like, meh, okay. And then I was thinking, if he gets in this thing, we're going to be like this. <laughs> like, the other one that I got, he was able to be on a floaty and I was able to be on a floaty at the same time. So I started looking at the sizes of the pools and I realized I ordered a small. I found one that's like way, like way bigger. That's the exact same pool basically, but just bigger. And it's $40 cheaper. So I'm like, okay, I just feel stupid. So we're going to return the pool. I'm going to place the order for the replacement pool so that it'll come tomorrow. And I'm still kind of on like my pool adventure of making it bigger and better and more awesome. And also stay tuned this week because we are going thrifting for a upcycling project and a sewing project. And that is so fun to look forward to every week. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we have a guest doggy coming this weekend as well. So just tons of fun stuff happening. And I hope you guys are looking forward to another week with me of just me being a wild weirdo. Remember how I was saying that I don't have any casual summer dresses? This is kind of what I'm talking about. I need more things like this. You know, this I would wear to an appointment or running errands or whatever without looking too dressy and I can even wear sneakers with it. So I definitely want to go thrifting for that. The shirt underneath is thrifted Roberto Cavalli and it's just got this really neat, weird, ornate design on it. It's really comfortable, really soft. And since it's a luxury brand, um, the quality is just really nice. And then I have my thrifted little white chunky sandals that I got. Okay, I've already run like a thousand errands. I've dropped off the pool for a return. Still felt super guilty about that, but I'll get over it because I'll be saving so much money. I'm gonna get a new one, hopefully deliver tomorrow because I definitely have been like enjoying pool time. I gotta say something about just sitting in the water and floating is really, really good for my soul. I can feel myself feel like just relaxing. It's, it's one of the only times I truly feel like I'm getting 
some sunshine and relaxation and just zend out. I went to the dollar store and just got like a couple of things. I was seeing if they had any pool stuff, you know, like a, a strainer to clean the bugs out, yada yada. But I got a strain, I just got a regular strainer. Now I gotta head to Target. Did my craft store move? Oh my God. My craft store isn't there anymore. This is the one I go to all the time. Now I'm gonna have to start traveling further, which I don't like. <laughs> Set you here until I get really embarrassed because the Target parking lot is one of the busiest. But I just got a new candle and it smells like Santal and vanilla, but holy moly, that smells so good. I got it for the kitchen because my kitchen candle is all burn out and then I just got some new <laughs> some new poofs to, to shower with because mine I felt like I've had for a long long time and then some stuff from the dollar store and some dinner for tonight now I just got to run into Target for a couple other little things I'm gonna see if they have pool tablets I don't know who has been watching Love Island USA but I have cried like three times I don't know why this one makes me more emotional. They've done a really good job with casting this season. I'm about to feed the dogs and make dinner. I am getting ready to go thrifting. I was so excited this morning when I got up and realized it was thrifting day. The only thing is there's some slight hesitation to going. I thought that I was ready to drive across the bridge. Now, if you're new here, you don't know what I'm talking about. Essentially, I drove across a bridge here called the Tacoma Narrows Bridge and had a really bad panic attack on the bridge. And so I cranked the air conditioner and cranked the music and got myself across it and then pulled off the first exit and just took a breather. I was totally fine. Driving back was no issue. It was just this like moment that happened that triggered this whole situation with being diagnosed with agoraphobia and getting into therapy to begin with because I had realized at that point just how bad it had gotten. I've been in therapy this whole time. I told her that this is like the thing I'm trying to accomplish and then once I broke into everything else going on in my therapy sessions I started to think perhaps there was more to it and there's more unresolved stuff that I need to sort through. So therapy is extremely helpful in me just trying to gain some confidence in doing things that are normal for most people. I thought I was ready. <laughs> and so I asked this past week when we did our EMDR session that I do a walkthrough and she will put a dot on the screen and it goes kind of slow back and forth and I walk myself through the motion of driving across the bridge safely. In therapy, we have what is called managers and I speak to my managers to see who's scared, who is speaking up and make sure I nurture the fear that that manager inside of me has and let them know it's gonna be okay and that we're gonna be safe. And we do all of that so that I'm prepared to try it and get through it. So I, I have all the tools. I've driven across many bridges with my husband when we've gone on road trips and I've drove to Oregon. There's a, a bridge connecting Vancouver to Portland and that I have no issues on whatsoever. I actually drove across it the last time and didn't even realize it. I, I talked and we were talking and I felt totally fine and normal and we drove across the bridge and I was like, wait a minute, are we in Washington? And my husband was like, yeah. I'm like, when did we drive across the bridge? So I'm not even paying attention anymore. And that to me means that I'm ready. I started with smaller bridges and I worked my way to the Portland Vancouver bridge and now is the one where it all began. I have food in my stomach because that is major. I think a lot of the problems that I've had with anxiety in the past is that I tend to skip breakfast and just have coffee and it has actually not been good for my nerves 
like at all. On days where I know I'm gonna do something that might be slightly difficult for me, I, I just have to make sure I have some sort of nourishment in me. So this is a protein shake. This is protein powder and strawberries and peaches and yogurt, key lime yogurt. I'm still drinking that. And um, I whipped it up into a nice protein smoothie. I'm just sipping away at it. I'm gonna go have a little bit of kava. I have kava tincture now that my husband got actually he started to enjoy the kava as well. We really only take it, I've said this many times, but we only take it as needed because kava is not good on your liver. And so you wanna make sure it's a moderated thing, but I can definitely have some on days like this. I know I say this every time and I do these little tangents every time, but this is a very important part of what I wanna share in my content. So if you're sick of hearing about it, I'm sorry, but this is purely because I know that people who are agoraphobic follow me as well and people with anxiety totally get it. I just wanna make sure that I include this in, in my videos when I'm feeling it and when it's going on in real time because I am able to verbalize it the, the best that I can when it's really going on, when it's happening. When I have to like reminisce about a feeling, it gets a little bit harder because I've, I've gone over it since that. But this is like right now, like hella right now. I'm gonna get going. <laughs> but there's like my spiel on how difficult this is going to be for me. to like happiness and being fine and it just waved over me and that I know for a fact is the EMDR usually when I'm like feeling like anxious if you get through it after being anxious then you just kind of still feel the anxiety a little bit you definitely don't go from anxious to happy that's for sure you just kind of aren't you're like okay I got past it but you're still feeling a little uneasy this was different this was Instantly, I felt a happy feeling, wave of rush of happiness over me. And that I know for a fact, the only reason why I've ever, I ever could have felt that way is because of the EMDR. Because it, I felt happy. I was like having a good time. Oh my God, that's weird. If anybody wants to know if EMDR works, the answer is yes, it does. I need a photo for my therapist. Let's go look for dresses and reward ourselves. <laughs> that was one of my best experiences in a really long time. I'm so glad I came here. There were so many good things. This place is a gold mine. I don't mind. This place is a gold mine. I don't want too many people to know about it because it's so good and I don't want it to end up being picked through like everywhere else. I found vintage, I found designer labels. So everything that I got is really like 
just something I was in love with. And then I put back some stuff that were practical, but overpriced. Good morning. I keep forgetting that this is a left-handed mug. This is gonna be great for when my friend Rebecca comes to visit because she's left-handed. She's gonna be like, yes, finally a mug for me. Here we are. It is time to try on all of the thrifty items. Spoiler, I already have, so I know exactly what to say about each thing. I change it up every time. This time I've decided to try it all on so I know exactly how I styled it and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna put the cutaways up here for you guys to enjoy and holy moly, I am in love, like in love with everything I got. That place has some true gems. I, this cracked me up and sometimes I buy clothes because it makes, me, it makes me laugh a little bit. I used to wear one of these. I think it was a burgundy red color and it was a Juicy Couture terry cloth like towel little mini dress and these were really popular during a simple lifetime. Oh my god, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. Don't forget to set my check. Uh, dude, your check is in the mail. Oh yeah, sure. So where Nicole, Richie, and Paris Hilton were on that show, they really made Juicy Couture like quite the thing. And so there was the terry cloth like velour pants with the juicy butt, like juicy cross the butt. And then these were also a really big deal. And if I could find a picture of Paris Hilton wearing this, that would be so great. This is new, this is not an old, vintage one. This is new. The Juicy Couture logo looks different. I mean, I'm not saying it's new, new, like brand new just came out. It could be. I'll have to look it up. I don't know about the labeling. It's a 1X, so it's a little loose on me around the booze, but that's okay because honestly, I wear these types of things when I'm tanning. And if I have on tanner and I want to just toss on a dress that I can wear that day out and about to go do things, even better. I honestly need a bunch of these for my tan processing days. Sometimes I'll wear my Velcro towel and I'll just wear that around the house while I'm tanning, but sometimes I have to go do something and then I'll just throw on one of these dresses, which are the um, same kind of elasticated around here so I usually don't have to wear a bra with it and they're loose and so I don't feel like they're going to mess up the tan as it's processing. This color actually really looks good on me, I think. Is this a good color on me? So remember what I was saying, I need really casual, like easy to put on and comfortable summer dresses that I can just throw on and leave the house? This is what I was talking about. <laughs> this is exactly what I was talking about. I will say, unfortunately, it's the only one I got. I had so many in my card. There's one problem. Around here, they still haven't opened the dressing rooms in the thrift stores. So we have to just hope that they fit. They don't really have a really generous return policy. So if you're spending your money and you want to get something that you need, then you won't get your money back if it doesn't fit. And they won't give you dressing rooms to try them on. It's really, really terrible. I think it's a horrible way to treat your, your customers, honestly. I've ranted about it before. It really, really pisses me off. The next thing, oh, you guys. Oh, you don't find vintage anymore at the Goodwill or the Value Village. You just, it's really, really rare. And the reason why this was even there is because it was from Urban Outfitters and then taken here because the tags are still on. So at Urban Outfitters, they were trying to get 60 bucks for this thing. So they have like, this is literally a vintage, beautiful, amazing shirt. It is so good. And it was $7.99 at the Goodwill and wow. Like just, wow. Um, I'll have to put something there, but the buttons I love so much and the sleeves, I think I might have something that's similar looking that hopefully I can just put there and it will just be a little mismatched, but not a big deal. I just tied it at the waist and I think it'd be cute with shorts. It'd be so cute over dresses, under dresses. It's really versatile and I mean, it's vintage. It's actual vintage. And I love when you find the real deal. Another thing that I was just like, how is this here? Like, I just felt like I was scoring left and right. This is called Nath Nathalie's, Nathalie's gorgeous button up shirt. And it's 100% silk. So I found yet again, another silky, 
top or um, item. I just keep finding silky things. So look at the shoulders. It's so, it's so gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. All of the detail around the cuff. Look at that. Look at that. It's just stunning. I'm going to take the shoulder pads out though. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry if you like them. I just still cannot get behind shoulder pads. I can on blazers, but on shirts like this, I just don't think they're flattering on me. I don't like that boxy look on me. I like a soft shoulder and I definitely will be wearing this underneath dresses. So this is going to be paired with a lot of things year round. This is a year round piece. So this will be a staple in my wardrobe. I'm going to continue to wear. This thing gave me feels. I was, I got butterflies. I love it when clothes give me butterflies. I was actually able to try this on in store over top of my dress so that I can really truly see if it's going to fit me and it's going to button close. I was praying to the thrift gods that it was and it did. Again, we have a really beautiful ruffly shoulder and sleeve. The sleeve is like that balloon style but like elasticated at the wrist and it gives it this really flowy boho look to it. I love all the detail around the v-neck of the front and it's by a brand called Miami and it's a large extra large. This was $7.99 and it's just freaking beautiful. It's beautiful. It reminded me of a free people one that I have. Is it free people? But it's just so pretty and it has this elasticated around the waist so it kind of cinches in and flows out. And I thought it would be cool to wear this, obviously you could wear this over jeans when it warms up, when it gets a little bit cooler out. And I think just wearing a slip underneath is perfect. You could wear shorts with it, you could wear a skirt. It has little leopards all over it too. Another year round staple piece. I should add this to my blog post about year round pieces, but this is a pinafore. I know. I've been looking for a pinafore. I've looked on Etsy. I've looked even on Amazon because you can find some on Amazon that are more, you know, affordable obviously than a handmade one of like a linen fabric. There's no information about this at all, but I love this rust color and this is definitely going to be something I would wear more in autumn because it is adding a second piece to a dress. And I love the way it looked with the skirt hike. So I put the harness on so I can do the skirt hike effect on it. And I actually really love the way it looked. I feel like I'm ready for the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> I'm definitely ready to go to some sort of festival. Uh, skirt hikes are very Renaissance Fair style. Pinafores are very Renaissance. So I just feel like this would look a little bit like that style, but I'm okay with that on a day to day. I think that all of that old fashion definitely has a place now in time and we can keep these old looking styles traditions alive by incorporating just little parts of it into our day day to day wardrobes you know you don't have to say oh well that's from that era so it needs to stay there no no we can bring it here and bring it into current day and make it our own and so i'm just such a fan of the pinafore dress that is everything. That is everything I got at the thrift store. We are back. We're back at the sewing cabinet. Once again, I wanted to, which is the dress I wore for the Western week, but I do want to upcycle this dress. I want to give it a shorter cut because this is not flattering on me at all. It's really frumpy, but it's just a fun dress. I just love it. But this is the other one. I haven't done this one yet either. So I also need to upcycle this jacket. I have three things I need to... I have plenty of stuff to do. Here's some fabric that I got that I just have been dying to make something with. Isn't this so beautiful? It's so beautiful. But I do want to make something with this. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for a uh, sewing project that this would look cute with. You even learn how to make the tank top. That would be cool. I'm going to think about that one. See, I have stuff. I have stuff. Loose, loose Sienna. This is bad. This is what I'm trying to avoid. What does this go to? I have no idea now. All right, well, I decided to do the project down here because the air conditioning is down here. <laughs> it's getting hot upstairs. So we're gonna do this one first. And I brought down the dress that I always use as my model. This is always what I use as my pattern to follow for length and cut because the length of this dress is exactly what I want. But look at the adorable, just the top of this dress is so cute. Okay, so as you know, the first thing I do is lay out the garment and put the other one on top of it so that I can measure where I'm going to cut it.
Okay, I do think that I want to attempt shorts to match. So I'm gonna take the extra fabric and figure out if this pattern is what I want. But I think I just want the shorts to be these with a thick elastic band. I could just use these as my pattern. I am wearing my Juicy Couture towel. It's so cute and perfect for a day that's almost gonna be 90 degrees. <laughs> and we do plan on going for a walk with our guest doggy that's here, Mia. Mia, let me see your face. Let me see your teach. Look at him, teach. quite possibly my favorite upcycle. I know I say that on every single one, but this one takes the cake. Reminds me so much of strawberry shortcake from when I was a kid. Oh, it's so cute. I just put a little belt around it because it really needs cinched in and I love the way that looks. The shorts came out really cute. They look great from a distance. Yeah, if you get too close and get a really good look at my stitch work, it's not the best. I definitely am a beginner when it comes to these types of sewing projects. And I just think I will continue to get better over time. A lot of it had to do with the fact that this fabric is very slippery, but um, those are just there for, you know, the fact that this is so short. So if I need to reach or go upstairs, I at least know I have the shorts on underneath. I think if I were to make them again, I would, I didn't know we were gonna fold this over twice to hide the elastic. She actually folded it three times and I knew I could not do that and get these on. So I think next time I will go for a high-waisted short. We still have a whole day ahead of us to go do a few things. I'll be sure to include you in that too. She wants all the smells. Oh, what you see, what you see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we made it just in time to miss the train. This is the place we're going. It's the little seafood house. If you can hear me over the train. If anybody needs a place to stay in Tacoma, the Silver Cloud Inn is a beautiful, adorable little location. Where your dad was, stay. was he? I think I recommended it. I recommended it to a couple people, but they think they said it was a little bit pricey.
And you go and bark bark in the park park. And good boys and girls. Wilderness fairy, something like that. My drink, matcha. Rose garden updates. Now I'm <laughs> bouncing. Marvin. So pretty. This is the area we don't come down to nearly enough, but usually because we're trying to get sunshine and not shade. Little undulations in the hills and rocks and the ferns. It's so Pacific Northwest, isn't it? And then just over that hill is the Point Defiant Zoo. So sometimes you can hear the monkeys. The little deer buddy on the road. We tend to get those guys out here quite a bit. Aww. He said, I'm just looking for my family. If you want your package to arrive, just leave. It'll get dropped off the moment you're gone. Look at it. I love it. I just got this underneath it because I'm going to test it out. <laughs> and I don't trust my own skill in properly securing this. But now for the pool. I'm going to drag this back out, lay this down, fill up the pool, put some air in it. I love the shape of this pool. The other one was billowing in and it wasn't supposed to. This one, I think the shape of it makes sense. So it'll stay how it should be. And it came with a little pillow. The quality of this pool, I can tell already when I just like touching it and unboxing it, I can just tell the way it felt that it's way more sturdy and just a better material. So I'll link this. If anybody's looking for a really affordable blow up pool, because this was $60, the other one was 100 and something because of the stupid LED, which I actually got really excited about. But in the long run, how often will I be out here at night in my pool? Sacrificed the disco pool <laughs> for something a little more practical and way bigger. This definitely will fit us both in it. And I think it's great. I'm excited for it.